It's Anne here on the Life LDC couch in Milton, Ontario, Canada. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to do a review on one of the Rowan publications from the Autumn Winter Collection. We're right in the middle of winter here, so it's really appropriate. I've actually finished one of the designs and I wanted to cover with you uh, the whole concept of this mode at Rowan and the yarns that they're using and have a good look at uh, everything in this this design collection. So I hope you'll get a, a beverage of your choice today. I'm just drinking water with lemon and uh, I hope uh, that you join me while we have a good look at this new mode at Rowan concept. The 18 designs in the first mode at Rowan collection are featured in two distinct colorways. This allows you, the knitter, to visualize your own unique Mode at Rowan wardrobe. Let's have a look at the designs now. The 001 wrap is designed by Annika Andrea Wolk. She used two shades of Alpaca Classic, in this case Eclipse 104 and Coastal Melange 105, eight balls of each. The yarn is used in a two row stripe sequence. Uh, it's a, it's, I would say it's an easy textural two row uh, pattern. And the finished wrap is 61 by 220 centimeters or 24 by 86 and a half inches if you're like me and still, still prefer your inch measurements. Pattern 002 is a cardigan by Martin Story. It uses 8 to 11 skeins of Kid Classic. It's shown here in 890 cement. It's an oversized boxy fit. It uh, has a, a, an eyelet stripe pattern on a backing of stocking stitch. It's oversized boxy shape, but it has um, shaped shoulders and short uh, little sleeves. Looks really elegant here, don't you think? The 003 ribbed tunic is by Quail Studios. It uses 15 to 18 balls of alpaca soft DK, shown here in charcoal 211. The body is a rib. The sleeves are stocking stitch. The body is uh, knit straight up, so the sleeves are drop shoulder. And the funnel neck is knit, uh, incorporated in the body. It's not an attached piece. It grows out of the body pieces. The skirt shown with it is 004 skirt by Quail Studios. Uses 11 to 13 balls of alpaca soft DK. Also in the charcoal 211, uh, same as the rib tunic. And it's an all over rib, which would give this uh, skirt lasting uh, shape control, if you know what I mean, with a knit skirt. The 005 design is a ribbed sweater, also by Quail Studios. 
It uses 20 to 24 balls of alpaca soft DK, shown here in rainy day 210. It's an all over rib pattern with a statement cable up the front. The body is straight uh, with a, a drop shouldered fit and the sleeves are also ribbed as is the large uh, turtleneck which is featured. 007 is the Cowl Cardi by Lisa Richardson. Lisa used Kid Classic 13 to 15 balls uh, for this design. It's shown here in Pumice 888. Uh, this uh, cardigan is a relaxed fit. It's knit in pieces. The body is double moss stitch. The sleeves are raglan. They're knit in garter stitch. And the cowl, the attached cowl, is also in garter stitch. 008 Cardigan by Annika Andrea Wolk uses 8 to 10 balls of Kid Classic. The shade used here is Drought 876. I love the relaxed fit of this cardigan. It's an easy rib pattern on the body and the sleeves. Uh, there's no shaping and it looks like it has a moss stitch edging on it. I love this design. And doesn't this matching hat, pattern 009 hat by Annika also, look fabulous with it. It's shown here with the 001 wrap also. Makes a spectacular outfit, doesn't it? 010 is a scarf by Quail Studio. Uses seven balls of Kid Classic. Here it's shown in Cement 890. It's, um, it's a lattice traveling cable stitch over a garter stitch background. It looks great here worn with the 011 tunic. 011 tunic by Quail Studios has a few uh, options for you. It comes in a crop version or a tunic length version with a U or a V-neck. Uh, the cropped one here is shown in Alpaca Soft DK. It uses 10 to 13 gram, uh, 50 gram balls. It's knit in pieces. It's stocking stitch. Looks like an easy knit. It's got a modified uh, set in sleeve. The tunic version is shown in the book in Alpaca Classic uh, using 10 to 13, 25 gram balls of, uh, of yarn. 012 Poncho by Martin Story. This design uses 10 to 13 skeins of cocoon shown here in frost number 806. The front and back pieces incorporate the sleeves, then they are sewn together with the neck band and cuffs added on afterwards. The 013 sweater by Martin Story uses cocoon. It uses two shades. The main shade uh, uses 7 to 10 balls and the contrast just one. In this case, they use polar and frost, just tonal, tonal shades. The, the body is all stocking stitch. The bottom of the, the garment has a slipped stitch pattern using that contrast shade. I love the strong rib on the bottom and the sleeves on this and the neckline. The 014 sweater by Georgia Farrell is knit in Kid Classic. The shade here is Bittersweet 866. It uses six to eight balls, depending on the size. It's uh, a sweater that's knit in pieces. It has a drop shoulder. The the body is stocking stitch, but you'll notice an interesting little cable twist on the, uh, the rib. 
Design 015 Sleeveless Jacket is by Quail Studio. Using Alpaca Soft DK, uh, shown here in the Trench Croat Shade 202, it uses 11 to 14 skeins. Knit in pieces, straight, no shaping. It has side slits. The uh, material is an all-over rib, and you'll notice that there's no edge finishing on this. It's a very minimal design. This would be a very versatile piece. 016 Crop Sweater by Georgia Farrell. Georgia used Alpaca Soft DK for this design, 9 to 11 skeins. It's shown here in Toffee 208. The body fabric is a brioche, a knit one below pattern. It's knit in pieces and then, uh, of course, sewn together. Design 017 Beanie by Quail Studio uses Alpaca Soft DK. It, you need three balls for this uh, beanie hat. And they show it in simple white here, 201. It's also shown in the book uh on uh using rainy day 210 it's just a simple uh rib hat but it's very effective and looks gorgeous here doesn't it pattern 018 scarf by georgia farrell using alpaca soft dk it uses seven skeins it's shown here in the toffee also to match the sweater uh, it's also done in brioche stitch Here's that 018 scarf shown again. This is the simple white version. And the model is wearing the uh, 011 tunic done in Alpaca Classic. I just love the way the ends of the scarf are gathered and they form like a little, uh, a little sleeve over top of the pom-poms. Really love this look. The Mode at Rowan collection is available in print. The print collection includes both the English and German translations of the patterns. If you'd prefer, you can buy individual digital downloads of these patterns at the knitrowan.com website. So this next little bit is me wearing my 002 cardigan by Martin Story. Now, I did a little bit of a switcheroo. I absolutely loved the new Island Blend yarn. Rowan sent me some, I absolutely adored it. And uh, I put it together with um, Kid Silk Haze, loved the fabric, did some swatches, just fell in love with the, uh, the, the, the fabric it made it and I wanted, but the trouble was I, but I was, I fell in love with that fabric, but I actually fe also fell in love with the 002 cardigan. So I did my swatching and sure enough, it works out to the same gauge in my swatch as the Kid Classic. So that's what I chose to do. I took the inspiration from the Focus collection, and the, which introduced the new Island Blend, and I applied it to the 002 cardigan. And I have to say, love this yarn, love how it feels. I'm going to for sure be knitting another garment out of it. I think I would love to make just a, a pullover tunic. Um, to wear with a big belt and, and, and maybe make one of those scarves that goes over top with the big pom-poms on the end. I'm sort of a winter girl. I love the cold. I prefer that much more than heat. And wouldn't it be lovely to have a sweater like that with the big scarf and the pom-poms? So that might be my next project.